So this is how to spend only $35 for the full week to eat plant-based for your fat loss goals, all right? We had all these. When you come to all these, make sure you bring your quarter so you can get yourself a shopping cart. What's up, family? It's Nas. We're built by plants. We got our assistant coach, Dwayne, behind the cam. So last time we did how to spend only $50 per week on a plant-based diet, so budgeting. Everyone liked it, but we're going to go a little bit more extreme because some people don't have a program. So this is how to spend only $35 for the full week to eat plant-based for your fat loss goals, all right? We had all these. When you come to all these, make sure you bring your quarter so you can get yourself a shopping cart. So we're about to do a tour as well. We're gonna also show the variety of options that they have, but we're only gonna spend $35, so let's get to it. Insert, deposit 25. Now we're gonna put Grab too many wipes. Wipe this stuff down before. I haven't been to all these. I said five years, but it's probably been at least about eight that I can actually remember. Last time I've been to all these, it was prior to them renewing and rebranding everything because I know they got like the whole organic type food and stuff like that now. We are at the entrance. They have like a lot of these trail mix and smacks and things like that. Dried fruits, peanuts, all different type of nuts. When it comes to trail mixes and nuts and things like that, if your goal is fat loss, these are a no-no. You don't want to grab trail mixes, these peanuts right here and things like that. Why? Because they are not filling one, and you can just keep eating and eating and eating these. Plus nuts, peanuts, trail mixes, these type of things are really high in calories. They're also high in fat, which adds up the calories. 28 grams is 160 calories, right? Most people have a lot more than 28 grams. Nuts, you can literally sit there and eat like half of this container, before you know it, you don't took in an extra 400 calories from just nuts, and then you're still about to eat your meal, whatever that may be, your lunch or your dinner, whatever it is. So these are not a great snack when it comes to fat loss. It's not something that you should prioritize. Dried fruits, these right here, they may be cool as far as taste and stuff, but dried fruit are not great as well for fat loss. So let's see, 40 grams is 130 calories, but if you were to have regular fresh fruit or fresh blueberries, you can have about 400 grams, 40 grams of this, or 400 grams of fresh blueberries. So you gotta make bad decisions. So these, if your goal is fat loss, limit them, all right? You don't wanna have these as snacks because you can eat these mindly all day, just pop, pop, pop. Before you know it, like I said, you don't take an extra 400, 500 calories. So try to stay away from the dried fruit, the trail mix, replace that with fresh fruit or a different snack, all right? Popcorn if you want. Dwayne shops here regularly. Like I said, I haven't been here in seven years, so he kind of knows what he gets. I'm experimenting for all of you all that are experimenting as well, but we're gonna be learning about their options together because I don't know either, all right? So just in case you're thinking that I'm an expert on every store, it's not about being an expert, it's about looking around using your eyes, learning how to read the nutrition facts, the labels, and then, you know, making good decisions based off of your goals. This is Simply Nature cauliflower tortilla chips, which is pretty cool. So they're vegan. Now, obviously, it's not the most ideal for fat loss, but I'm just showing the options that they have. So 140 calories per serving. I'm pretty sure it tastes good. We like to see good natural flavor. They got some other flavors down here as well. These are black bean chips, which is pretty cool. These are vegan. So it says may contain milk and soy. So the soy, you know, that's not a problem, but it says may contain milk. Now, when you see options like that, that doesn't mean that it's not vegan. That just means the company is kind of trying to save their behind by specifying that there may be a possibility that it came in contact with another food that was being processed on maybe the same equipment and stuff like that. So it may have like traces of something potentially, not necessarily saying that it does, but they just give me the warning sign for people that have like really strict allergies and things like that, just so that you can have that reference point. So that don't mean it's not vegan, it is. It's just more so giving you that warning sign that maybe it was produced by something that wasn't. So 
always keep that in mind. Take that information, use it for what you need. They have the sauces right here, which are pretty cool. We're budgeting $35 for the full week, but we're actually gonna be making specific meals with these food choices based off of three meals per day because everyone doesn't do intermittent fasting. We do intermittent fasting, but some people like to have breakfast. So it's gonna be three meals per day. It's gonna be including oatmeal, tacos, lots of burritos, some burrito bowls. There's different things like that. So we're gonna be grabbing ingredients that we need, finding the lowest prices, we're also finding the lowest calories for the most value, and that's the overall goals. When I went over to the Wayne House, he had these hamburger buns, which are the lowest hamburger bun calories I've ever seen in my life. Now they are, you know, kind of small, but at the same time, you know, still a lot of value. So 60 calories per bun. You really can't beat that. I've, the lowest I've seen actually is probably about 100 calories. This is 60 per bun, all right? So this will be clutch. We're not gonna be having burgers that much this week, so we won't include this in the actual list. We found some low calorie bread. This is only 40 calories per slice. This is actually the lowest calorie slice bread I've ever seen. Most breads are usually around 110 calories per slice. This is literally half of that, less than half of that. So this is gonna be an excellent tool. So I just picked up this bread again, just to like revisit the nutrition facts. And I've seen something that made me think that this might be a staple in my diet moving forward when it comes to breaded things. I'm using bread. 40 calories, right? This has 40 calories in there for one slice. Five grams of protein. Now, you may not know the importance of the significance of this, but let me show you something right quick. 70 calories, three grams of protein. Do you understand how much packed this has to be with protein for it to only be 40 calories and five grams of protein? Let me show you another one. I can just keep picking them up. Another one will have that same ratio. 70 calories, two grams of protein. I can just pick up any one. It don't even matter which one I pick up. 120 calories, four grams of protein. 40 calories, five grams of protein. I can keep going because no no other bread is going to have that that sort of calorie to protein ratio. Even the artisan, which I really like, 120 calories, three grams of protein. And the artisan is a really nice, high quality bread as well. As far as like, it's really good for like French toast and stuff like that. But when it comes to the ratios, this is a really solid dieting tool right here. Like, so what would that be? Three. So three slices of this will be 120 calories and 15 grams of protein. That's basically the equivalent to some protein powders, the supplements. So this is clutch. This is really clutch. The other thing is, one more thing with that when it comes to value. How I just picked this one up. This is a nice quality bread, it's big in size. 120 calories per slice. But I can also have three of these which will also be 120 calories. But this 120 calories for one slice with three grams of protein, this would be 120 calories for three of these with 15 grams of protein. Make your choices wisely. <clears throat> Clutch. We'll be able to make some avocado toast with this, probably make some French toast or something like that. Uh, you can do so, we can do a lot with that, all right? And uh, it's four bucks. So, that's a tough decision. Maybe we'll have a lot of avocado toast. All right. And keep in mind, $35 for the full week. So, yes, we're going to be repeating quite a few meals. It's not about to be a fancy meal every single day, something new. When your budget is that low, only $35 for the full week, you kind of have to sacrifice a variety, right? You can get creative, but it's not going to be a different meal every single day. So, we're going to do a lot with that. All right, so we're in the produce section. They have... Nice variety over here of options. It's not a huge one, but they do have some good stuff over here. We have some chopped kale that we can use. We got the spring mixes. These are really clutch right here for the Caesar salads. Now, since these are roughly the same price, what we'll be looking at is comparing the actual value, right? So, how many grams do these come with? The Caesar salad kit, $1.99 versus the Italian salad, 189, right? 
Now, similar in price, only a 10 cent difference. But what is the difference? The Italian salad has 198 grams, right? 198 grams, so seven ounces total inside this bag. The Caesar salad right here, this is 284 grams, so a lot more inside of here. For 10 cent more, you basically get 90 more grams inside of here. So we're gonna roll with this one. So we just said we were gonna get, go with the Caesar salad, right? This is 284 grams for 199, right? But we can either go with the Caesar salad or we can go with something that's more nutritious, more value, which is spinach. This is 227 grams, right? Which is less than this, but it's also dollar and nine cent. So that's a good choice back right there. So I can grab two of these. I can grab two of these, pay only 30 cents more than one of these, and you literally have double the value, which is clutch, right? So it's all about learning how to make these good decisions and learning how to weigh your options if you only have a $35 budget. The avocado right here, 55 cents each. So we're gonna grab two of these. You don't really have any ripeners. Cool trick to fastly ripen your avocado. Is that, is that the right word? To fastly ripen? We just made it up, it's built by plants. We can do what we want, right? Exactly. So a cool trick to fastly ripen your avocados, put them in a paper bag, then store them in a dark spot, maybe in your cabin or something like that, and they're ripening a lot faster versus just waiting for them to ripen. Right? So, I'm gonna grab two of these, so this is basically a dollar and 15 cent maybe. So, so far we're at about eight bucks. You see what we have? Two bags of spinach bread, and then we have the avocados. Not a lot, right? But we're gonna make it work in this. So we were gonna go with the sliced mushrooms, the sliced white mushrooms, but whole white mushrooms are actually cheaper by like some cents and we can just chop them up by ourselves right both of them are eight ounces so what's the purpose of paying 10 cents more when we only have 35 dollars to spare and we can chop it up ourselves so we're going to grab this this will go well with our avocado toast we got more money to spend you can come and grab some of the portobello mushrooms which are a little bit more pricey than 20 cents more but they are better mushrooms in my opinion Full caps right here. So these are 95 cents per pound. So not even half a pound. So this would be about 45 to 50 cents. You know, we got to get some of the most satiating foods, as we talked about before. The potatoes, probably the most satiating food, not one of them. If you have these choices right here, you can go with the bite-sized yellow ones, you can go with the baking potatoes, you can go with the yellow potatoes. Preferably, I'd much rather roll with the yellow ones, but when you come down here, if you look at the price versus the volume and such, this one is almost a dollar cheaper. You get the same amount, five pounds. And then if you look over here, this is 10 cents cheaper, but it's way less, right? So if you compare these two right here, you'll see why I go with the baking potatoes. This is five pounds versus the baby ones, which is only 1.5 pounds, right? So not even two full pounds you get right here for the same price. So do I recommend baking potatoes if you have the option? Not for me. I much rather go with the gold potatoes or sweet potatoes. But since we're budgeting, we can't do the sweet potatoes because those are a little bit more costly. We're gonna roll with the baking ones. Keep it simple. So now we have the oats. We don't necessarily have to have the oats since we're going to be having avocado toast, but we can take the avocado toast and add that to the lunch if we want to, and then just have oats for breakfast pretty much daily. Then you can add in some berries or something like that if you want to mix up the oats and it taste better. So you got the old fashioned oats. We also have the quick oats right there. You got options, but we're going to roll with the old fashions. Two dollars and forty-five cents. And this gives you two pounds of food. This is gonna last a long time, way longer than a week, right? Even if you eat it every single day. You get 30 servings with that, right? You can have it for about, if you ate it every day, maybe two weeks, three weeks or so. But then there's also the steel cut oats. Now these cost more, $2.09. Plus they take a little bit longer to make. So, you know, just not my preference. You get the, basically the same nutrition from it. It's not much different than the old fashioned or the quick oats, right? So. Let's keep it moving. 
almond milk, not just almond milk, any plant-based milk, but they have almond milk specifically. So the ones that we always roll with is the unsweetened vanilla. Whenever you can, go for the unsweetened almond milk if your goal is fat loss, because they're usually only 30 calories per serving. And the serving size is a cup or 240 grams. I always go with the lowest calories that you can because you don't want to add extra calories when you don't need to. A lot of people go for this one. It's a lot sweeter, but it's 80 calories per serving. Why do you want to pack on the 80 calories for just milk when you don't have to? Especially if you're using it for like a smoothie or something, because when you pour both of these in there and you combine it with your protein powder and then you know your fruits and things like that, you won't even be able to taste it. You can, but the difference is so minute that you might as well just go with the lowest calories so you can have more value. So, as price. I've never seen almond milk price this low before. A dollar and 79 cents, that is ridiculously low for almond milk. If you go to most other grocery stores, the lowest you're probably paying is like $2.49 if it's on sale. This is the regular price here at Aldi's. So Max normally, in the other brands, they're like $3.49 or whatever, maybe sometimes $3.99. So um, that's the almond milk. They also have some other things over here. So they got some oat milk. They also have soy milk, uh, coconut milk. All those are great as well. But again, we're gonna have $35 to spend. So you can't get those necessarily. We gotta roll with the lowest price. This is a dollar and 79 cents. That's super clutch. So just looking around, I think just found some whipped cream, coconut whipped cream. It's vegan. 10 calories per serving, but the serving size is only seven grams, so make sure that you pay attention to that, weigh it out. Yeah, but this is pretty cool. We're not getting it, but it's cool. So they don't have many vegan alternatives to the butters as of yet, right? As of this video. Uh, also, they don't have any yogurt or any type of vegan yogurt. Um, same thing for like sour cream cheese, but you can tell they're working on it. You can tell they're adding in options and stuff like that. So over here you're gonna find like all the cold pressed juices and kombuchas and all that type of stuff. This is actually what my dad likes. He really likes this juice. You have the green goddess drinks and stuff like that as well. These are like super high in calories. If I was you I would just make my own. I'd be more fresh and save a lot of the calories and price. Buy some fresh greens and then do it yourself. So all of those are vegan for the most part. Still read the Nutrition facts. Um, over here, you got your vegan Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> if you take a look over here, you'll find the overrated, super high calorie, non juice juices, right? They all say 100% juice, and the first ingredient is not juice. You don't need to be drinking these if you're trying to diet, right? If you're trying to lose fat, health aside, this is not going to help you. 130 calories for just one serving or eight ounces, that's not a recipe for success, right? So try to stay away from that. If you do need something, go for the teas. You make your own tea, but they also have the teas over here, like the gold peak, like zero, right? I'm trying to set me up. Zero calories. I'm not saying that it's the best tasting. You may have to add your own sweeter to it. It's unsweetened. Stick to water or a zero calorie drink, right? Even diet pop is better than this when it comes to dieting. I'm not saying that diet pop is the healthiest or that you should be prioritizing the kid. So I just seen this homeless guy in here trying to ask people for money so he can buy burgers. Wow. <laughs> they do not sell tofu at all this, which is very shocking. You would think that there would be one of the things that they would have. So we're also gonna go grab some beans, the normal, the dry beans, but dry, grab some dry lentils, some dry rice probably, because those are staples on the clutch. But we're also gonna work in some of these patties, all right? So you can just see the different options that they have. They don't have a lot, but if you come over this way, you can look and see what they have. So this is the brand called Earth Grown. It's vegan. Now. You also need to look at the nutrition facts, like I say on every single video, because this is 150 calories. There's four in a box. So this is a total of 600 calories for the whole thing. 
and they're at eight grams of protein, which isn't great, right? This one on the other hand is also four in the box. Each patty is 100 calories with 16 grams of protein. Do you see that difference? So this whole box has 400 calories for four burgers and 62 grams of protein for 400 calories. This whole box has 600 calories for the four patties all together and four times eight, 32 grams of protein. So literally 200 calories less with double the protein than this right here, all right? So you gotta make great choices, learn to do the math on that and you know, just make the best decision depending on your goals. You can still have this in your diet. You don't have to ignore it because it's 150 calories. Just know that there's better options. Now, the other thing you want to keep in mind is taste. Now, if this just works for you and you love the taste of something that's a little bit more high in calories and it help you stick with your diet and you work it into your calories for the full day and you still don't exceed your calories for that day, then that's perfectly fine. You can have that. But this is a lot easier to work into your calories when it's 50 calories less per burger and you can eat more of these, right? So it's about what do you prefer? Like, what do you, what's more important to you? Is it more volume, just eating more burgers? Or is it taste, eating fewer burgers, but better quality maybe? And that's not to say that this is better quality than this. I'm just saying, just keep that in mind when you're making decisions. Because there's also the thing that I talk a lot about with, with the Oreos versus like fruit for, you know, your snack, your cravings. I always say go for the higher value option. So go for, you know, the honeydew melon that you can eat a lot more of versus like the Oreos. But there's also a place and a time for having the Oreos because that may satisfy your craving, unlike the fruit. And you'll eat the fruit and be like, hmm, really good. I'm full, but I still miss, I'm still missing that satisfaction. And then you still have the Oreos on top of that. So you just gotta make the, the best decisions for you. I don't know how I got to Oreos and fruit and talk about burgers, but you know. And then the other thing is pay attention to them, right? Because this says what? Protein burgers, soy based but with cheese, it's real cheese, all right? It's not vegan cheese. You can see it says condensed soy, wheat, and milk. So it has real cheese in there. So pay attention to that. They may have something that's vegan as far as the protein source, but they may include some dairy in there, like milk and cheese or something like that. So that's important. They also have the other things, the frozen vegetables and things like that. We'll probably come back and just do a full grocery store tour for all these that shows everything they have that's vegan. This is more so focused on budgeting um, for, 35, for $35, but they have a lot of other options that we haven't shown just because we're trying to prioritize the lowest cost. So we're gonna keep this. And then let's go over to the rice, beans, and lentils. And beans right here, these are $2.19. So I believe the beans are a little bit cheaper at like, where we go, Kroger? This is four pounds of pencil beans for $3.25. Black beans are $2.19 for two pounds. And we're gonna grab our lentils. So they don't have a lot of options, I've noticed that. Um, so these are the only lentils that I see. They got like split peas too. But the lentils, 89 cents for one pound. It's pretty decent. So 180 calories, which is 50 grams. For 180 calories, you get 12 grams of protein. So pretty solid. I mean, is it the best ratio? No, but that's a very solid ratio. Um, can't really be mad at that. So we're gonna definitely incorporate some lentils. Oh, talk about clutch. For one dollar and nine cents, you get one pound of pencil beans. Now, I personally love pencil beans. I know a lot of people don't. I don't know what's wrong with them. Hopefully they figure it out. But um, we'll put the dried black beans back. We'll get this right here, 15 ounces for 52 cents, the black beans, right? And then we'll also get the pencil beans, one pound for dollar and nine cents. So that way we can switch it up. We're not just stuck to eating black beans every day with a few variety of different beans if we want to. We can also come over here and we can grab some garbanzo beans, right? For another 50 cents. So, so far we had about $2.20 for tax. So this is 120 calories, six grams of protein. You know that's not the best ratio. Beans aren't the best source of protein, but it does add to your protein total. They all roughly the same nutrition profile for beans in general. 
we can also go ahead and grab some of these diced tomatoes, which will just add a lot more flavor to the meals, all right? It has basil, garlic, and oregano in there, 63 cents. The Wayne grabbed these extreme wellness, 50 calories per tortilla. So these are the ones that I love just because of the, how low the calories are, but they're $3.28. So that means you can't do it today. We're gonna to go with the ones that are lower in price. Probably gonna be higher in calories, but we'll just have to make it work with our diet, right? We'll just have to work it in, plan it in. So this is one thirty-nine, a dollar and twenty-nine. I'm sure it's like two hundred calories. Yep. Wow. Point. Two hundred calories. But what we can do is some huge wraps. We can make some really big wraps with this. So I think that's what we'll do. $1.29. And that's a good point that I guess I should bring up to you all. So, although this says 200 calories, like I mentioned over there about the burgers and such, it's not the fact that you can't eat something that's a little bit higher in calories. You just have to plan it and see your calorie total for the whole day. All right. So, 200 calories with this versus the 50 calorie one. That's a 150 calorie difference, right? So basically what that means is, if I wanted to, I can take that one and then put that 150 calories extra, that's right here, and put that towards something else. Maybe more protein, maybe more avocado, more whatever it is I wanna have throughout that day. But since I'm sacrificing, not taking that one right there for only 50 calories, and I'm having 200 calories right here, basically that means that I'm not going to be able to eat as much as I would if I was to split up those calories and not have this 200 calorie wrap right here, right? So it's all about choices. Is it worth 200 calories for you to just have this huge wrap and not navigate that 150 calories somewhere else? You can do it, but you just have to make that decision. So we're going to go with that. So we came over to the broth to see if they have any broth for us, and they don't. So all we see is chicken and bone broth and some other stuff that we don't eat, right? So you can't do that, which is very shocking. I thought like every grocery store would sell veggie broth, but they don't. So uh, we're just gonna keep scrolling, keep scrolling. We don't wanna be on social media too much, so I'm gonna keep scrolling. <laughs> and the pasta. So we could do some pasta. We can work this in because it's pretty low price. This is like spaghetti, basically. Edamame, what, spaghetti? Wow. Holy shit. Cut. We just stumbled upon some edamame spaghetti, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you think they sell this at like Kroger and things like that. They might, but I just haven't seen it yet. But 180 calories per serving for 24 grams of protein, which is excellent. So let's see, 186. So the whole box has 720 calories. One day y'all gonna give me my props for being able to do this now so fast. 96 grams of protein for the whole box, which is cool. But let's compare edamame spaghetti, the calories and protein versus regular spaghetti, calories and protein. So, cool. So this is why you all have to look at and weigh your options and see what all you all can do. So this is 200 calories for this regular spaghetti and only seven grams of protein. Why would you make this decision when you can have literally the same amount, right? 56 grams. 56 grams, 180 calories, with 24 grams of protein. Over triple the protein in this one, less calories than this spaghetti right here. The better decision is this decision. They also have black bean spaghetti, which is pretty, or black soybean, should I say, which is pretty similar, even more protein. 25 grams, 480 calories. This one's 24 grams, 480 calories. There's no need to ever buy this, the regular, all right? I don't know, I don't think we're gonna actually get that though. But it's a nice, it's nice to know that they got it. Um, long grain and wild rice, so 169. They also have quinoa, which will be a good choice as well. Um, but it's 199, and obviously like we've repeated multiple times, the goal is as little cost as possible. All right, so we're just wrapping up. We end up grabbing some strawberries at $1.99. Grab some bananas, probably about 50 cents. Then the Caesar salad kit, so this was $1.99. This was the original one that we grabbed at first. 
but we figured we'll go ahead and add it back in just for some more variety. So we'll see what we can do. We may be pushing it, maybe exactly 35, potentially maybe under. So we don't went through two phones. Now the new lesson, make sure that you charge your phones up before you try to record videos. I got the Canon in the car, but it's like, that's a lot of work. So the way you using his phone, he got 10%. So let's just try to knock this out, all right? So we got the big bags of the dry rice over here. This is a lot. I'm not sure how many pounds it is. 10 pounds for $4.25. We don't need that much because this is only for the week, like we said. And we want to be as low cost as possible. So it's only going to be for a couple of recipes, a couple of meals, should I say. So this is the jambalaya rice right here. It's only $1.29. Um, we can get cheaper, possibly, with some of these other ones, but we're real with this. They also have like the long grain rice right there in the box. We got the 90 second the ready rice, um, white quinoa, things like that. We're gonna roll with this. It's gonna add a little bit of flavor to it, a little, switch it up a little bit. We also have like some dirty rice, which is pretty cool. Just make sure that it doesn't have any animal products in there. So this one doesn't contain it. So it says add me, so you don't have to worry about it. This is cool. Just check the contains, make sure it don't say anything and you're good to go. You can go towards the register and just like get the ring up. So wrapping up a few last talking points, this obviously wasn't the most lavish grocery list ever, right? It wasn't the most fanciest things that you can buy, but this is how you can make a plant-based diet work when you have a very minimal budget. As you can see, we only spent $31, not even $35. We got quite a bit of foods um, and we're gonna make it work. We're gonna be able to still reach our fellows goals on a plant-based diet at Aldi's and you know, we didn't even spend everything that we planned to spend. But it's gonna have to get creative. That's what it's about, getting creative, figuring out the different type of meals that you can have. We're gonna have a lot of burrito bowls, some actual burritos. We're gonna have some oatmeal dishes, some shakes, a lot of salads, some more burrito bowls, <laughs> different type of things like that, baked potatoes, loaded baked potatoes and stuff like that. So we're gonna make it work, you just gotta get creative. If you all are struggling with reaching your body goals on a plant-based diet, trying to incorporate more plant-based foods, or maybe you've been plant-based for years, 10 plus years, something like that, and you still haven't been able to reach your goals, whether it's building muscle, losing fat, or even putting on some size, go ahead and tap the link down below and we're gonna help you out. Schedule a free coaching call with us and we're gonna be able to figure out what you're struggling with, whether that's having a structured way of eating, picking the right food sources, or some accountability. You just can't stick to a plan. So, Tap the link down below and schedule a free coaching call with us. And we're looking forward to having you out. Buildbyplantscoaching.com. See you all in the next video. Peace.